What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We're just going to cop right into it. Uh, we're going to do a skin fade on my client. We're going to go ahead and start off combing out the hair. And then we're going to set in our first guideline with our 5-0 blade. We're going to clean up that bulk underneath. Bring it up to that line. I like to match the match both sides together. Just makes it easier for keeping it consistent. Yes, I know my client is thinning a little bit, but this is what makes haircutting. Uh, you know, real uh, in a way, you know, I should say. So, um, not showing you the best of every haircut because not everybody's haircut hair is perfect. We then go in there with my Slimline Pro GTX, clean up underneath, up to that bald line, and then we go in with our close shaver right underneath that. Try not to go up too high so where we create another line. We'll then go in with our wall senior blade open, going up about an inch, making sure that line is really, really clean. Makes for a smooth transition. Here I'm going to go in with my number one guard open, create another guideline. Depending on different hair textures and different clients, I, I switch up the process that I that I use. I'll then take my number two guard open, blending into that ridge area close to the top. Then I'll close it up, going right below it, and start to blend down. Taking that number one and a half guard open, repeating the same process as I blend down. Then I'll go in with my one guard open, and then I'll close it up. do the same thing with my 1 16th guard open and then I'll close it up as well using that corner of the blade technique here I'm gonna go on my trimmer and just soften up that bottom guideline just to make it easier as I blend in with that no no guard closing my wall senior up as I start to begin to blend out that bottom line And I'll slowly open that blade up as I go up a little bit higher and higher until that line is completely blended out. Now here I'll go in and add some detail work. Uh, I'll try to you know blend out any dark spots that I see within the fade using that corner of the blade technique. Um, just kind of picking away at anything that I may see. He has a couple dips in his head, so just trying to get what I can see right now, and then I'll go back later. I'll do the same thing using the half guard. Here, I'll put a fresh set of eyes on it, so I'll go ahead and begin to blend out his beard area. Um, he tends to do his beard before he comes, so sometimes the lines don't come out as crisp as I want them. I just don't want to push his uh, his beard in, his beard line in. He has a bone right there, so uh, I like to stretch the skin just to make sure that I can get 
uh, get that that uh, sideburn blended out. Take my DTX slimline, line it up just a little bit. Now we'll go to the other side and we'll repeat the same steps that we did on the first side. Blade open. We'll go to that note, that one guard open, creating another guideline. That number two guard open. We'll go up and close, close that up. Then going down to that one and a half guard, repeating the same steps, open and closing as we use our fade down method. Going to that one guard. Now we're down to that half guard open, closing the lever as we begin to blend that after that guideline out. Like I said, we're just repeating the same steps that we did on, on the previous side. Uh, just trying to keep that fade consistent all the way around. You can tell he has a dip in the back of his head, so I spent a little bit of time here just trying to make sure that it's consistent the whole way through. You can see that face starting to come together as I add some detail work. I forgot to use the close shaver on the previous side, so that's why I'm doing it last. Um, sometimes people don't like to do this because you can create another line, but I've been pretty good at it. Taking our thinning shears, going in and cleaning up there that ridge just to blend it, blend it in with the top. Yeah, my client is he's thinning, but um, we make do with what we have. Uh, it's, Repeat the same thing on the beard. Go ahead and blend it in. Using a, a fade down method. Even though we're fading down, we're fading up. So hopefully you get, get what I'm talking about. We'll go in on the top. You'll notice how I parted the section where his recession areas are and then I cut from there back just to create the length first. And then I'll go ahead and I'll trim up the front at the end. Just going up here and just cleaning up some darker areas that I see. My shears. All right, we're just gonna clean up his beard area. Uh, we're just gonna line up what he had originally, just kind of cleaning up, making sure it's uh, sharp. Like I said before, he usually does his beard before he comes and I'm just kind of like cleaning up what he already has. I just don't want to irritate his skin any more than what it does get. Do 
these Slimline Pro GTXs hit. If you haven't watched my review on these, please be sure to check it out. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel for more content. I'm trying to get pretty consistent with it at least once a week. I'm trying to get better. I usually don't get a chance to record. I'm just so busy in the barbershop that it just doesn't doesn't happen and people walking around as you see in some of the back backgrounds of my videos here we're just gonna take some gel clean it up i'm gonna add a hot towel nice little treatment with the massager massage some of that shaving gel in makes it easier for me to use that razor to finish off his beard nice little extra to you know to add to your service But here it is guys, the mid ball fade on my client. Appreciate you guys for watching. Like, I, Please like, share, subscribe.